Six months after an institutional crisis within the Sovereign Order of the Knights of Malta, the coordinator of the reform effort spoke to Catholic News Service about the future of the order. We are, first of all, a Sovereign Order of Malta, which is now working as best as it can with the members of the order in a very structured reform effort with the close, let's say, prayer, the closeness in prayer of the Holy Father, but always convinced that our reform is directed mainly at reaffirming the mission we have had for the last 900 years. If we want to go forward, we must be willing to go back to Jerusalem, where we were born, where we were founded. What did we do in Jerusalem? Defend the faith and help the sick and the poor. What do we do today in 2017? Defend the faith and bring our best service to our lords, the sick and the poor. Nothing has changed, but everything has also changed. The Pope's interventions during the crisis sparked a public debate over what it means for an organization to be both Catholic and sovereign. In no way our sovereignty was put into discussion, and I can vouch for this. The Holy Father said to the Sovereign Council in their visit on the 23rd of June last, I don't, don't want only to help your sovereignty, I want to further it. So we are members of the Catholic Church. We owe our total loyalty to the Holy Father, but make no mistake, we are a sovereign order of Malta. We have been and will continue to be one.